Today, November 21st, marks a threefold celebration, the Feast of the Presentation of Mary and the Foundation Day for both the Felician Sisters and the Brazilian Fathers. Although, although there is little in Scripture written about Mary, the mother of Jesus, the Church draws on both legend and tradition in honoring her in the liturgical calendar year. Tommy DePaulo uses this to retell the story of the presentation of Mary in his book, Mary, the Mother of Jesus. When Mary was three years old, her father and mother took her to be presented in the temple. They placed her on the first step and the little child climbed all the steps to the altar by herself. The high priest received her and kissed her. Blessing her, he said, Mary, the Lord magnifies your name throughout all generations. In you shall be made known the redemption of all of Israel. Mary danced with joy, and all the house of Israel were happy with her and loved her. One legend says, that Mary remained in the temple, studying and serving God until she was betrothed to Joseph at about the age of 12. Marian devotion has always been important for the Felician sisters and the Brazilian fathers. During a time of great turmoil in early 19th century France, a group of 10 priests decided that they could do the work they wanted to do, the work of education, better if they lived together. For the Brazilian fathers, it was on November 21st, 1822, the Feast of the Presentation of Mary, that all the French confreres finally agreed to come together for a major meeting. They elected Father Joseph Lapierre as the first Superior General of the Brazilian community. For this reason, the Brazilians chose November 21st as their Foundation Day. 33 years later, the Felician Sisters were founded in Poland when Sofia Trzaskowska and her cousin Clothilde left their homes and took up permanent residence with the widows and children in their care in Warsaw, Poland. On the Feast of the Presentation, November 21st, 1855, Sophia and Cloth Hill had no intention of establishing a new religious community. On this day, before the picture of Our Lady of Częstochowa, they simply made a promise to dedicate themselves to Mary's service according to the will of her divine Son, Jesus Christ. Just over a year later, when ten women put on the Franciscan habit, Sophia became known as Mother Mary Angela, the foundress of a new congregation, now commonly known as the Felician Sisters. Remembering our own beginnings as part of a dream of the Felician Sisters and the Basilian Fathers, we at Holy Name of Mary College School celebrate with them as we pray together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary whose hidden life brings light and warmth to the church in every place. Her presentation in the temple at Jerusalem reveals her as a temple where God truly lives among us. May the example of Mary, the Felician sisters, and the Brazilian fathers radiate that light and warmth to the church and help us to be dwelling places of God's joyful presence on earth.
We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Mary, whose name is holy, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 